One week after a massive fire at that lithium ion battery recycling plant, some Fredericktown residents are still concerned about the fallout. In the days following the fire, thousands of dead fish washed up in nearby waterways. And tonight, the I-team's Paula Bassan digs into what happened, how the facility is responding, and whether enough is being done to protect the community. Fredericktown is reeling from the fallout of a massive fire at a lithium ion battery recycling plant, and the community wants answers. It was more than obvious that the fumes were very toxic. Matthew Marabona saw the smoke heading straight to his parents' house. Days after the fire, he ventured to nearby Village Creek and the Little St. Francis River. What he found was chilling. Dead fish, thousands of them, floating to the surface. It's almost sickening in a way because I grew up in these rivers. I grew up fishing and swimming in these streams. I am very concerned, mostly for the residents and the impact on the wildlife. The Missouri Department of Natural Resources, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and other agencies are investigating if firefighting foam used to control the blaze could be partly to blame. It's known to deplete oxygen in water. And Marabona yes, wants tighter regulations. It absolutely needs a change because no matter what, we will feel the repercussions of this for years to come. The stakes are high as demand for lithium ion batteries surges, powering everything from cell phones to electric vehicles. Are lithium ion batteries dangerous? Inherently dangerous by their very nature. Attorney Al Watkins represents Critical Mineral Recovery. He says the company's strong safety protocols kept this fire from becoming a much larger disaster. No one was injured, no hospitalization for respiratory issues. The I-team found that fires involving lithium ion batteries are far from isolated. In June, a battery plant explosion in South Korea killed about 22 people. And similar incidents have erupted across the U.S., from San Diego to St. Louis. Over a recent five-year period, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission issued recalls on around 5 million consumer products, largely due to lithium-ion battery safety concerns. They've been in the building around the clock. Kevin Jones with the Fredericktown Fire Department says even one week later, firefighters are still hard at work. They do have some heavy machinery there today to remove some of the collapsed portion of the building to access some of the trapped areas of fire. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we're definitely making progress. For Marabona, the impact of lithium ion batteries and technology's unintended consequences has hit home. It is the responsibility of even the, the town and the specific counties and wherever these places will be to lay these rules down to instate these safety features. I'm confident in uh, the Department of Natural Resources ability to uh, get, get to the bottom of that and, and try to get everyone some answers. Officials on site at the battery recycling plant have yet to determine what caused the fish kill. Right now, the Missouri Department of Natural Resources is testing surface water samples. The EPA is monitoring air quality. As lithium battery use and its dangers rise, many are questioning if enough is being done to hold companies accountable and protect communities. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, Five on Your Side.